So the second part that I think the, like working on the computer has, has helped us with is giving me a better understanding of what it means for students to be on more individualized pathways in, in their learning. Um, I'm not an expert in mastery grading and mastery learning, but it's really opened me up to that concept where like, like here's, the, here's, here's the finish line and each student can, can, can start and take different routes to that finish line. So being able to differentiate um, for students using pathways on the computer, I think is something that really helps. And the, the notion of all students being on the same timeline, um, like everybody needs to start on Monday and everybody finishes on Friday. Um, I, I'm, I'm open to reimagining that. That's good. I'm open to reimagining like wh wherever we start, when, when, when it should be finished and what it means that something is finished. I mean, I, I think yeah. that, speaks to, that speaks to some of the struggles students may have with either challenges with procrastination or challenges with not understanding the assignment or just needing more time to balance their physics with their English and other things. So yeah, it does speak to that. I mean, that's a, that's a great thing to, to change. It's more like a philosophy change than a physical and, or, you know, some other sort of change. It's yeah. Like, it's sort of an openness to that an openness to a re reimagining of time. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll ask you, is this something that We've done something you've been doing for 20 years and or the last few years or the past year that you're like, you know what? I never, I want to burn this. I never want to do this ever again. We should never do this again. What would that be? Something that you uh, like, we should never I, do this again. I think the, the number one thing is I never, I never want to not be able to read and interact <clears throat> with a room of students ever again. I think that's the, 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 that's the hardest part of all of this is not being able to really explore the room and, you know, hover around the students that need you to hover around them and um, just throw a couple one-liners around with the ones that just need a couple one-liners and they're right. on their way. Um, really look alongside a student with what they're working on um, even though they didn't ask for it it's because I could see I could see where they're at and I can ask the questions based on what I what I see that they need and they're not able to say for themselves got it so 